G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Friends episodes 11 and 12. I'm actually so mad I can't binge it because I'm doing it for the channel, but it is what it is. I'm so invested in the characters, I can't get enough of them. Just a quick reminder, these are all up on Patreon. Each episode are up like a week or so in advance, so if you guys want early access, you can go get it there. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I just want to check my horoscope, see if it was right. <laughs> oh my god, behind you there's a guy who has the potential to break our hearts and plunge us into a pit of depression. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, come to mama. <laughs> nice hat. Thanks. <laughs> Whistle, we are not going to w <laughs> Do it, no, do it, do it, do it, do it, woo, woo! What? <laughs> oh no! I can't believe you did that! Oh my gosh, <laughs> she inadvertently caused him to get hit by a truck. Why did I woo who? I mean, what was I hoping would happen? He'd turn around and say, ooh, I love that sound. Must have you now. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Hello. Hello, coma guy. <laughs> Get up, you girl. Get up, up, up. Maybe nobody's tried this. <laughs> I mean, she's got a point. Look at that face. I mean, even sleeping, he, he looks smart. Did you see the dance in his knuckles? I mean, he's artistic. He can dance. Oh. This is what if he isn't even straight? <laughs> You're talking, he's listening, and not saying, I understand, but really wondering what you look like naked. <laughs> I wish all guys could be like him. Gee. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so sad. She said it with such conviction. <laughs> Are there no conscious men in the city for you two? <laughs> we feel kind of responsible. I can't believe you said woohoo. <laughs> I don't even say woo. -hoo. We'll be talking about her new book, Euphoria Unbound, the Nora Tyler Bing. We don't have to watch this. Come on, she's your mom. Exactly. Oh, okay. Love your mom's books. I love her books. I mean, this is so cool. You wouldn't think it's cool if your 11 years old friends are passing around page 79 of Mistress Bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a bit strange. I think she's a black. You can say that because she's not your mom. Oh. Wanna say it? Uh... Hi, sweetie. Oh, this guy. Grr. So then his plane didn't explode in a big ball of fire? <laughs> Just a dream I had? Yeah. <laughs> ah, not a bing. <laughs> Even he knows her. Now, what is this about you You being arrested in, in London? Your mom was arrested? You're busy beaming with oh, pride. This is kind of embarrassing after I've been intimate with a man. Now, why would she say that's embarrassing? <laughs> Just get this craving for Kung Pao chicken. That's too much information! <laughs> So now you're doing this whole book tour thing. I'm leaving for New York, mm -hmm. which I hate, but I get to see my son, who I love. Aw, that's nice. The way that I find out, most moms use the phone. Actually, that's a good point. Don't take this wrong. I, I just don't see you as a mom. Oh, no, I am a fabulous mom. I bought my son his first condoms. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> that's the first thing that come to mind. <laughs> And then he burst into flames. Oh man, I have a bad feeling we're about to get some sad backstory. Mir wants to race subway fares again. Hi, today was 45. Teams played sports. It's so funny that they're just sitting there waiting. They're so invested. Mate, they're in love. <laughs> oh, Phoebe serenading him with her music. Love that. You could be a Glenn. Not, not special enough. Ooh, how about Agamemnon? Way too special. <laughs> nice. I am famished. What do I want? Please, God, don't let it be Kung Pao chicken. How do you watch the show? <laughs> well, I think you need to come out of your shell. Just <laughs> only you could have picked this place. <laughs> come on, shut up. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for some tequila. I know I am. Yeah, he hates this. Ross? I'm not really a shot drinking kind of guy. Sorry, we like, we uh, kind of just, you know. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but a man can change. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't bear it. Anyone want me to appraise anything? Oh no, I didn't know he was going to go that far. <laughs> Poor Ross. <laughs> I have read everything you've ever written. All I wanted to do was become a writer. Please, honey, listen. If I can do it, anybody can. Throw in 30 euphemisms for male genitalia. Bam! You have got yourself a book. <laughs> My mother, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, people would read that for sure. <laughs> you okay, Slutter? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a bit too drunk to tell the difference between the spelling. What is with you tonight? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's the Italian hand licker, isn't it? It's the one he's licking. Aww. 
I have sold a hundred million copies of my books, and you know why? Girl on the cover with her nipples showing? <laughs> I know how to write men women fall in love with. I cannot sell a Paolo. And the guy's a secondary character. That's funny. That's like wall breaking right now. He is. Ross is a main character. <laughs> Not a hero. You know who our hero is. The guy on the cover with his nipples showing? <laughs> No, it's you. Come on, you're smart, you're sexy. You're gonna be fine, believe me. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Uh, I'll just pee in the street. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn. That was so random. And she had nothing to drink, I don't think. Well, at least not much. About last night. Oh, Chandler's gonna find out. We don't need to tell Chandler. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? Thanks. No big deal. <laughs> okay. In bizarro world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you broke the code. What code? You don't kiss your friend's mom. Sisters are okay. <laughs> mom! <Your> mom! <laughs> What are you guys oh my doing gosh. out here? Uh, Joey and I had discussed getting in an early morning racquetball game. Oh no. Somebody overslept. <laughs> oh, you don't have your racket. No, no, I don't because it's being restrung. Somebody was supposed to bring me one. You didn't call and leave your grip size. <laughs> hey, you guys spent way too much time together. <laughs> Yeah. How could you let this happen? I don't know. He was drunk and she made an advance. She's, she's sexy. She's... You don't think my mom's sexy? <laughs> she wasn't there. Not in the same way. Hey, I'll have you know that Gloria Tribbiani was a handsome woman. <laughs> I love how he's offended. It's easy giving birth to seven children. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting into a weird area. Here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you guys doing out here? <laughs> Not playing racquetball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He didn't get the goggles. Uh. Well, sounds like you two have issues. <laughs> yeah. Bye, baby. Do they wait for me to do this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, right? Poor Ross. So are you gonna tell him? No, I'm not gonna tell him. Why would I tell him? Because if you don't, his mother might. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? Uh, say he's it, not say even wearing it. a jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> what did I ask? <laughs> Yeah, that's not what you expect when you ask someone that. Just tell him that she kissed you, <laughs> you know? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd stop by, you know, after the, uh, that I, you know. So what are you doing here? Thought I'd drop these off. Oh my gosh. Do you come here a lot? <sighs> Without me? They're both so competitive. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's doing any better than he was this morning? How would I know? I... I wasn't here. Not even <laughs> to um, change his pajamas. <laughs> they're wait. They're allowed to change his clothes. Are you serious? I had to tell you. I can't believe it. Paolo kissed my mom. Oh no. I don't know if you noticed, but he had a lot to drink. <laughs> I mean, you know how he gets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he hates this. I did it. It was me. I kissed your mom. I was really upset about Rachel and Paolo. Mrs. Mom, you're Bing. <laughs> you're Bing. Ask Joey. Joey, uh, he came in. You knew about this? You know, knowledge is a tricky thing. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the entire day with you. Why didn't you tell me? Lucky I caught them when I did, or else who knows what would have happened. Oh, no. Hell. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the hell were you thinking? I wasn't. No one knows the crap I go through with my mom more than you. I can't believe you did this. Uh... Gotta be slam the door. <laughs> I didn't kiss her. He did. See what happens when you break the code. Ah! Huh? <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know he'd be so upset about it. I mean, I guess I would be if my friend kissed my mum, but. <laughs> a woman undone by Rachel Karen Green. Thought I'd give it a shot. Do you think his love stick can be liberated from its denim prison? Uh, oh, 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 whoa. There's no J in engorged. <laughs> Going to the hospital tonight? No. Ooh. Something's got to happen to make this guy not date either of them. I am so hot. <laughs> Central Perk is proud to present Miss Phoebe Buffet. <laughs> Here we go. Hi. Um, I'd like to start with a song that's about a man. Oh, no. Come to be very important to me. Oh. You don't have to be awake to be my man. Oh, as long as hey. you have brainwaves, I'll be there to hold your hand. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna take a short break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> oh no. How was that? Phoebe just started her. Yeah, I believe I was talking to Joey. All right there, mother kisser. Oh, bro. He's in the doghouse. <laughs> mother kisser. <laughs> I'll shut up. I know you're still mad at me. I just want to say there were two sets of lips. Yes, well, I expect this from her. Why don't you say something because to her? Because it's complicated. It's complex. Hey, you kissed my mom. <laughs> oh, no. We're rehearsing a Greek play. <laughs> Good excuse. You're not going to tell her how you feel? That would be a no. Just because you played tonsil tennis with my mom doesn't mean you know her. You can't talk to her. You can't or you can't. Okay, mm. that's my finger. Okay, I'm, that's, that's my knee. Still doing the play. <laughs> Damn. How did he submit him so easily? All right. What'd you do with him? Oh. You're awake. Look at you. Gosh, you, you look good. I feel good. Imagine waking up to this. I'm Phoebe Buffay. I'm Monica Geller. I've been taking care of you. Well, we both have. The etch sketches from you guys? Well, actually, it's just from me. I got you the foot massager. Oh, no. This would feel so weird. Well... Thanks. Oh, my pleasure. You're welcome. I guess I'll see you around. What? That's it? <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? Maybe uh, that was nice. Admit <laughs> something to me. Man just woke up from a coma. All right, I'll call you. I don't think you mean that. <laughs> this is so typical. You know, we give and we give. <laughs> and then we just get nothing back. Oh my god! one day, it's just, you know, you wake up and see you around. <laughs> it's like he missed an entire relationship. You know what? We thought you were different, but I guess it was just the coma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'd be so confused after something like that. Be good. I love you. Mwah. You kissed my best Ross. <laughs> something to that effect. My best Ross. Okay. Look, it, it was stupid. I didn't even know how it happened. I'm sorry, honey. I promise it will never happen again. Are we okay now? Yeah. No. Oh, here we go. Come on, mate. I wish you were Ah, the forbidden love of a man and his door. <laughs> he told her off, and not just about the kiss, about everything. He said, when are you going to grow up and start being a mom? She came back with... The question is, are you going to grow up and realize I have a bomb? Are you sure she didn't say, when are you going to grow up and realize I am your mom? <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah. What's going on now? Well, I don't know. I've been standing here spelling it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, go back. What do you see? It's so tiny and upside down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're walking away. No, no, they're not. They're coming right at us. <laughs> hide. <laughs> you okay, kiddo? Yeah, I'm okay. I will be good. Oh. Mrs. Bang? Mr. Geller. Oh. Hey. You mean that? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so little words mean so much. How'd it go? Awful. Awful. Couldn't have gone worse. How do you feel? Pretty good. Nice. I told her. Yeah, because it's off for chess now. Maybe it wasn't such a bad idea, you know, me kissing no. your mom, huh? Huh? But we don't have to go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> and I want your absolute honest opinion. You get to the part about his huge throbbing pens. Oh no. Yeah, you don't want to be around when he starts writing with those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least spell properly. <laughs> oh well, she tried. She gave it a shot. That's a, that's hilarious. Like the fact that he kissed his mom. I just didn't see that coming. And it's funnier because it's Ross, right? Like he's having issues with his own sort of um, crush on Rachel. And the fact that he's... <laughs> He got kissed by Chandler's mum just makes it funnier. It's like he's um he's doing well with people that he doesn't really care about. It's just it's kind of unfair. It's cruel. <laughs> Did we just go a cappella? Nice. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, 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 we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cute when you do it once, but <laughs> not again. <laughs> if I was standing in the back, I would have, I would have enjoyed that immensely. All I'm saying is, if you had told me vegetarian lasagna, I would have made vegetarian lasagna. Well, the, the meat's only every third layer. Maybe you could scrape. <laughs> Ross, did you really read all these baby books? You could plunk me down in the middle of any woman's uterus. No compass. Uh, <laughs> and I could find my way out of there like that. Some parts of the world, 
people actually eat the placenta. Oh, come on. And we're done with the yogurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear that. What do you want me to do with a dozen lasagnas? Nice talk, Aunt Sil. You kiss Uncle Freddy with that mouth. Your baby is only this big? This is your baby. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> How come you don't live with Mommy? Oh, no. How come Mommy lives with that other lady? <laughs> Dude. Too soon. What's a lesbian? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Poke a nose. It's like poke a nose. Ah, poke a no. Oh, <laughs> too mushy. <laughs> My sister's giving us her place for the weekend. First weekend away together. That's a big step. I know. Oh. It's just a weekend, big deal. Wasn't this supposed to be just a fling? Shouldn't it be flung by now? Yeah, I know, right? It's it's gone on for a while. I mean, I am feeling things that I've only read about in Daniel Steele books. I'm with him. I'm just totally nauseous. I'm physically nauseous. <laughs> Yeah. What's supposed to do, huh? Call immigration? Oh no. I could call immigration. <laughs> Bro, don't don't be that guy. Don't sabotage it. I love babies with their little baby shoes, little baby toes. <laughs> Aw. You're gonna have to stop that. Aw, what? Come on, man. He's allowed a dream. <clears throat> Hello? Need a new table. You think? <laughs> How'd the keys do that? Hey, hey, come on in. Oh. And Monica sends her love along with this lasagna. Is it vegetarian? Because Susan doesn't eat meat. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yeah. <laughs> I got the results of the amnio today. Totally and completely healthy. Oh, great. That's great. That is great. When did you and Susan meet Huey Lewis? That's our friend Tanya. Oh, well. <laughs> of course it's your friend Tanya. Don't you want to know about the sex? The sex? Yeah, I'm having enough trouble with the image of you and Susan together when you throw in Tanya. I'm young. Yeah. The sex of the baby, Ross. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know the sex of the baby? Oh, oh. Do you want to know? No, no, no. I think you shouldn't know until you look down there and see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> really? Okay. That's interesting. Hello, Ross. Susan? Oh. Do we know? What? We certainly do. It's going to be. Hey, hey, ho, ho, hello. <laughs> yeah. A guy who doesn't want to know standing right here. Is it what we thought it would be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's left out. Okay, what, what did we think it was going to be? No, no, no. I should probably just go. Mwah. Mwah. Susan? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a solid punch. Who should we call first, your folks or Devin Rona? Is it Russ? Hello? Never mind, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just because it was my table, I have to buy a new one? There's no rule. If anything, you owe me a table. Mm, this is a good point. Who who buys the replacement? How about if we split it? What do you mean? Like, buy it together? You think we're ready for something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Just that it's a pretty big commitment. I mean, what if one of us wants to move out? Oh my gosh. Why, are you moving out? I'm not moving out. You tell me if you were moving out, right? Yes, yes. Just that with my last roommate, Kip. Oh, uh, I know all about- You sell half of it back to them. Just that we bought a hibachi together, and then he ran off and got married. Was Kip a better roommate than me? <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't ask about his past. <laughs> That's a big no-no. Your 4 o'clock herbal massage has been pushed back to 4.30, and Miss Summerfield cancelled her 5.30 shiatsu. Here comes your 3 o'clock. I don't mean to sound unprofessional, but yum. <laughs> the way she said it. Giorno bella BB. Oh no! Oh, Paolo, what are you doing here? Raquel, tell me you massage. Raquel, that's right, yeah. Where's this going? I am uh, being naked. That's really your decision. People here we prefer go. Yeah. You know, to take off. Oh, <laughs> naked! <laughs> if the doctor knows, and Susan knows, and Monica knows. How could you know? I don't even know. I asked, you told me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's gonna get mad FOMO. Oh, great. Now he knows and I don't know. Dude, you can't want to not know and also feel extremely, like, left out. Come on. Hey, can we get some cappuccino over here? Oh, right, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you work here. Gigi, what is it? You know Paolo? I'm familiar with his work, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He made a move on me. Whoa, story oh, be open no. tomorrow. Oh, no. 
That's not a good sign. Well, he came in for a massage. <laughs> oh, no, my God. Are you sure? Oh, no. And all of a sudden, his hands weren't the problem anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Was it... Oh, Boy Scouts could have camped under there. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> you got to tell her. You have to tell her. You yeah. have to tell her. It's your moral obligation as a friend. I think it's a feminist issue. Guys? Guys? Yeah, you have to tell her. The feminist issue. That's where I went. <laughs> she is going to hate me. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, she isn't. Oh, actually, no. She's got a point. She might be a little jealous. Maybe. We'll see. What about the birds? I don't know. Birds just don't say, sit here, eat something. How about the ladybugs? Forget about the birds, but big red insects suggest fine dining. You want to get the birds? Get the birds. Not like that, I won't. Just get the most generic one ever. Kip would have liked the birds. Ooh. Oh, no. I love how it's like they're dating. Hi, Biebs. Are you moving out? No, these aren't all my suitcases. Oh. Can we talk for a sec? Sure. Mm. Just for a sec, though, because Paolo's on his way over. Quickly. Um, oh, Phoebs, um, we haven't known each other for that long a time. There are three things that you should know about me. My friends are the most important thing in my life. Aww. Two, I never yeah. lie. You don't. Three, I make the best oatmeal raisin cookies in the world. Nice. It's like a pre-peace offering. Oh my god. Why have I never tasted these before? Don't make them a lot. I don't think it's fair to the other cookies. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. Paolo made a pass at me. So what do you think? Just like that, we cut away. Well, I've ever seen. I know. So how does this work? Oh my god. Heads up, Ross. Score! You suck! <laughs> wow. The conviction. You suck. I need some milk. <laughs> she needs some milk. She came prepared. Here you go. It's not alcoholic. <laughs> Better? No. <laughs> yeah, no way. Oh, I feel so stupid. Oh, I think about the other day with you guys, you know. Oh, Paolo, he's so great. He Aww. So embarrassed. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I, mean, I unleashed him on you. I had signal, never met him. This would have been so sorry. No, baby, no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> what are we sorry about? I don't know. He's the pig. Such a pig. God, he's such a pig. <laughs> pig man. Yes, good. Okay. <laughs> I love that they're bonding over this. Oh, but he was my pig man. Oh, oh no. No, Rach. I not see this. Oh, I know. <laughs> he's gorgeous. And he's charming. He looks at Phil. Okay, okay. Oh, the end. Should I not have told you? It's much better than I know. Mm-hmm. I just liked it better before it was better. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm glad you told her. And it's also like, if he did, if Paolo did it to Phoebe, then you never know how many other people he's done it to, you know? I think she took it pretty well. You know, Paolo's over there right now, so... It's one second. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Come on, Phoebe. <laughs> Looks like uh, we kicked your butts. She kicked our butts. You could be on the Olympic stand in their team. <laughs> what are you still doing here? She just broke up with the guy. Time for you to swoop in. Well, now? Now what? is when you swoop. You gotta make sure that when Paolo walks out of there, the first guy Rachel sees is you. You're like, like the anti-Paolo. <laughs> I mean, maybe he should be there, but he shouldn't do anything dating related. Or you pick up the pieces and then you usher in the age of Ross. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy how's it going i don't stare now there's just a lot of gesturing and arm waving. oh they better not make out they better not make up here he comes <laughs> i am uh to say goodbye okay bye bye <laughs> adios <laughs> i really hate you for what you did to rachel I still have five of these, so heated at 375 until the cheese bubbles. <laughs> That's such a Monica thing to do. I just want to tell you, I think I'd speak for everyone when I say... Nice. Yes. Come on. Adios.
I really think only one of us should go out there so she's not overwhelmed. Oh, or oh, I really think it should be me. Okay, this this is, could either be really good or really bad. Like, don't make this about you. Hey. Hey. You alright? That's actually really sweet. You deserve so much better than him. You should be with a guy who knows what he has when he has you. Ross. What? I'm so sick of guys. <laughs> oh. guy. I don't want to think about another guy. I don't even want to be near another guy. Oh, Ross. Huh. Ross, you're so great. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, the way she says it. Oh, Ross. It's like... Oh, it's so friends only. I don't think that swearing off guys uh, altogether is the answer. I think what you need is to develop a more sophisticated screening process. No, bro, you need to shut up right now. No, I just need to be by myself for a while. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> not all guys out there are going to be uh, Apollo. I'm sure, your little boy is not going to grow up to be one. What? Oh, no, she said it. I'm, I'm, I'm having a boy? No. I'm not having a boy. I'm 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 having a boy. Hey. We already knew that. Oh, Oh, it's hit him all at once. Yes. And that would be a shutdown. Shut out. Damn, she must be really good. Come on, one more game. 2.30 in the morning. Get out! <laughs> All right, okay, I gotta go. And I'm gone. One more game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just don't want to get thrashed by her. <laughs> it's too demoralizing. <laughs> oh, once again, that was just really, really fun to watch. <laughs> the first episode was good. I really liked how, um, you know, we got to see that sort of drama um, happen with Ross kissing um, <laughs> Mrs. Bing. And just to see how Chandler handled that whole situation. Um, we got so we've gotten a slight little backstory or a slight little like more information on Chandler's upbringing a little bit it's slightly implied that maybe he didn't have the best childhood maybe or the most um uh, traditional sort of mother so I'm interested to see more about what Chandler's past is like from what I've heard in the comments you guys have said that Chandler's backstory is kind of sad so I'm interested to see what like why it's sad and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm keen to see more about Chandler's pa past and that sort of thing but that being said I really really enjoyed episode 12 I feel like a little bit more happened I feel like there was more drama um and I always love to see more drama so um the whole thing with Paolo it's interesting because on one hand I think Phoebe handled the whole situation perfectly she made it very clear she cares most about her friends she's very loyal and she just wants to do the right thing. And Rachel handled it really well, I think. Um, it's just interesting to see how Ross handled the whole situation. His mates were just doing what typical mates sort of do. And it's basically like, this is your opportunity, take it. Um, I think Ross was handled it reasonably well. I think the best thing to do was to just care about Rachel and to be like, I'm here for you. Um, what do you need? That's it. <laughs> what do you need like you know like we're, we're supporting you it's not about me it's not about um my future with you um or my advice like not even advice you know like literally just being there is like the best thing you can do and i think i think it, ross considering how much he likes rachel um i think he handled it reasonably well i think he could have done, re handled it better i think there was a couple times where maybe he was trying to kind of acting in a way that was like very how can I insert myself and use this as an opportunity opposed to just being completely selfless about it but it was nice to see that he was very much like here like just have a hug I'm here for you um but you know I think I think it's very hard for Ross considering his position it's tough trying to say that you could handle the situation better because you just don't know right it's like sometimes you don't know how you'd handle a situation like that so i don't want to be like oh like people watching this video and and myself included feel like we have the moral high ground as far as what we do in a situation like that because we're not in that situation only ross was so yeah <laughs> i don't want to be like neutral but it's also like 
we've got to be empathetic we can't we can't just assume that we will do the best thing you know and i think considering everything ross um rachel walked out of that situation feeling better than before and that's thanks to ross so yeah that's all i can say about that i had a lot of fun I, th I thought it was a really funny episode there's lots of little jokes in there i had a good time but once again i always have a good time watching these videos so thank you again check out the patreon please like and subscribe and i will see you all next time stay cozy